Hello Pandora fans, my name is Melanie and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Now before I begin, I would like to say a big thank you for everyone who is subscribing to my channel. Now today I am sharing with you my collection, part two, the O Pendants. Now I'm going to go through the various colors, sizes, prices, and the chains that I use with these O pendants. All right, let's get started. All right, ladies. Now in front of you, we do have five O pendants. Now let's start with the colors. They do make the O pendants in sterling silver, 18 karat gold plated shine, and in 18 karat gold rose gold. Now these come in a variety of sizes. They come in small, medium, large, but I'm a big fan of the small and the medium. Now let's go through some prices. Now on the left we do have the small sterling silver. Now this one retails for $50. The Shine O Pendant retails for 85 The Medium Sterling Silver retails for $60. Then we have the Rose Gold that retails for $75. And again, the Small Sterling Silver that retails for $50. All right, so let's get a closer look. We're going to start with the Medium O pendant okay now I love this one but this one I do recommend that you wear it on a longer chain because it is a little bit large if you do wear it on a 45 centimeter chain now these are awesome they're very well made I'm going to show you how these open okay now you have a little heart button right here. So what you do is you just press and then you just pull it open. Okay. Now when you close, do not simply just put it in and click it. Okay. You actually need to press the button, then just insert and release the button. Okay. Now when you do open these, Okay, just be careful not to pull them apart too much. Okay, because there's like a little hinge down here. Okay, you don't want to pull that apart. Okay, because you might risk it breaking. All right. Now, I do recommend to mix your colors and you can actually double them up okay you can actually put a small one okay underneath the medium okay now what i also wanted to share with you guys is i did make a previous video on silicone rings or silicone stoppers. Now, the silicone stoppers are fantastic for solid charms, but one thing that I forgot to mention in the video that I had made is that your charm doesn't need to sit at the bottom center, okay? If it has a silicone stopper, you can actually move up your charm to wherever you would like, okay? Because I find that there's a lot of dead space which is usually up here. Okay. Now, another reason why I like to wear my charms or my old pendants like this is that if you have a larger bust or you want to accentuate um, your bust, I strongly recommend the, the medium at the top and the small old pendant at the bottom. Now, you can put just a regular um, charm or a dangle 
And what this will do is it will draw the eye down. Now, for the opposite, what you can do is you can actually, let's put this down. You can do the opposite. Now, this looks really good if you do have a smaller chest or if you're wearing a turtleneck. It will actually open up like the chest area. And next, what I wanted to share is that you can actually mix your colors. What I like to do is wear these on a sterling silver chain. Okay. And what we can do is I usually put the medium one at the top. And mix the two tone or like I said if you have a sterling silver chain and you want to mix up your metals you can say for example you do have your sterling silver chain then you'll have sterling silver rose gold sterling silver and you can actually swap the colors of the charms you can go silver on the colors and colors on the silver. Okay. That's how you mix your metals. And another tip as well is, well, when you wear these, you can actually put a few charms on the old pendants and you can actually have a charm which sits on the side of the chain. Like I say, if you have a chain here, you can have a charm that sits right there. Okay, so do switch it up, be creative. There are so many combinations. Oh, also, I do not recommend that you wear more than one Murano because what happens is that this is not the same size as a bracelet. Okay, on a bracelet, you can actually wear like four Muranos, but on here, the circle is too small. So what's going to end up happening is you're going to have one charm or one Murano that's going to be here. Then your other Murano is kind of like going to go like this way. Okay, you're going to have too much dead space in between. So if you do do that and you do notice dead space, you can put pendants because the pendants are thin enough. They're thinner than dangles. And if you do put dangles, I would put one and then put pendants because what tends to happen is if you have a dangle charm, say sitting here, your dangle charm's going to go like down um, to the left. Um, it's not going to sit uh, straight. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the chains. All right, ladies. So in front of you, you do have the chain that I strongly recommend. And I strongly recommend the chain with the following product number. 590200. Now, this chain comes in three sizes. It comes in a 17.1, which retails for $50. Then we have the 23.6, which retails for $60. And then we have the 29.5, which retails for $75. Now, if you have the small um, or small and medium O pendant, I strongly recommend use or wearing it on the 17.1 inches chain and the 23.6 inches chain. Okay. Now the 29.5 inch chain, uh, which is uh, 75 centimeters. Now that chain I would mostly keep for the medium O pendant or the large O pendant. Now what I like about this chain is that you can shorten it. Um, it has a little piece here that you can see. 
right here. Now you can extend it or you can um, reduce uh, by about an inch or a, a little bit more than an inch. Okay, so if you want it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. Now all of the chains in this set um, have this. Okay. Now if you do double up your pendants, then I suggest that you either use the 17.1 or the 23.6 inch chains. Again, double them up, mix up your metals. Um, it was a very, it was hard for me at first because I was always saying, oh, I just like the sterling silver, but it's actually really nice to accent your sterling silver with some of the, the other two colors. Okay. The shine and the rose gold. Now they did come up with some new O pendants. Some of them are extremely gorgeous. I did visit my store. I was going to buy um, the beaded O pendant, uh, but I'm having a little, some second thoughts uh, just because I like to use silicone stoppers and I haven't really, um, I'm not sure if the silicone stoppers will work on the beaded O pendant. So I may buy the small one to experiment with it to see if I can still use my silicone stoppers. Uh, it is adorable. Now there also is some that, um, the little ball here, they've turned it into a pave ball. Again, that's personal choice. Uh, and they also have a new ball chain necklace. Now I did have a look at that necklace at my local store, uh, but I did find um, that it's very thin. I was actually hoping, because I'm a fan of the string of beads charm and the string of beads sliding bracelet, and I was expecting the little beads to be um, a perfect match to the small beads that are on that sliding bracelet, but they are not. They are. It's a very thin, thin necklace. So yet again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy that one because I'm a little bit afraid because it's so thin that it might not take the weight of the O pendant with charms on it. Um, but it should be. Uh, the only necklace, necklace that I do not recommend to use with the O pendants is the um, it's a chain that has like a little silicone ball that you can pull to adjust, either shorten or lengthen. Now, those chains are beautiful, but they're mostly for pendants, okay? I wouldn't use the uh, O pendant on that chain. And number two, those chains, I did buy one, and I found that the more you um, reset the length, um, the chain twists. Okay. Uh, so I don't think they use the best chain, um, for that. Uh, my only other piece of advice would be to, again, mix it up. Like there's no design that is wrong. Um, I've actually seen people connect all these O pendants to make a necklace. Uh, you can also take these chains and take the 29.5 and actually double it and wear it as a choker. Like there's so many, so many design ideas out there. Okay. So don't be afraid and experiment. I also wanted to mention that I've had these pendants for about a year now and I have no complaints. I've had no problems with these O pendants. If you like this video, click like. If you wish to subscribe, I would absolutely love that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you have any comments, please let me know. All right. I wish you guys a great day. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.